Are you looking for a sharp, crisp image? If so, then you're in the right spot. Because by the end of this video, you're going to know how to use PixInsight's multi-scale linear transformation tool to produce a final, crisp, sharp masterpiece. And it only takes just a few steps within that tool. Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to sharpen your image quickly, easily, and effectively. After all, who doesn't love a sharp image? And we're gonna be doing this using PixInsight's multi-scale linear transformation tool, which is a bit of a scary name, but it's super easy to use. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's head on over and learn how to use PixInsight's multi-scale linear transformation tool. Before we get started, there's one thing I want you to understand. This tool is a tool that works with the wavelet layers of your image. And as I'll demonstrate, layer one is the smallest of objects. And then the higher up you go in the layers, the size of the objects grow. And layer one is a layer of non-importance, we'll say. It's a layer that consists of just noise, so we're not gonna be using layer one, but we are gonna be adding a layer to that so that then we get the maximum benefit of this tool. Now, when you look at the detail layer, the bias uh, input that you put in there is how much sharpening you're going to be doing on that specified layer and what i'll demonstrate is that the layers with the largest objects such as layer five will have a smaller bias number because it's going to have the biggest effect on the image and you don't want to overdo it and then as we progress to the smaller objects that number will grow and the numbers that I'm going to input in the demonstration of this tool are common numbers that work well with data. And you are more than welcome to play around with different numbers. However, my demonstration is going to be using the common numbers that have been proven to work. To find multi-scale linear transformation, what you're going to do is go into Process, All Processes, and Multi-Scale Linear Transform. And this is the box right here. And as you can see, there's a lot of things that you can do in this process. We're only going to be adjusting a couple of items in this. Now, this process, uh, some people use it to reduce noise. What we're going to be using it for here is to sharpen. And the reason that this has the ability to sharpen is, if you remember, as you reduce noise, you can smooth out your image. So you want to be able to resharpen those structures, and that's done through the detail layer bias right here. And it works off of the different layers of the image. Now, your image is made up of different layers, wavelets, if you will, and uh, it goes everything from the smallest of uh, structures or items on your image all the way up to the largest. Now, let's get a visual representation here. I have IC1805. Uh, this is taken with a one-shot color camera, ASI 2600MC. And uh, this is actually almost completed here. Um, this process that we're going to be going through is going to be probably my second or third to last uh, item done on my process, just depending on how the final image turns out. Now, let's go ahead and go to Script, Image Analysis, Extract Wavelet Layers. We're going to keep it at five layers, and we're going to hit OK. And this is going to extract all of the layers of this image. Let's scoot this out of the way. We'll get rid of the residual layer because we don't need that. And what we're going to do is let's minimize these so we can examine them one at a time. And what you're going to see here is layer zero or one is just nothing. It's just, it's basically noise. Let's do a hyper stretch on this and you'll see 
This is just the noise of the image. Okay, so we'll exit out of that. Layer one, we'll do a hyper stretch on that. And now we start getting some detail and structure. Layer two, we have more detail and structure. Layer three, you don't even really need to stretch it and you can already start seeing that there is structure there. We'll just do a normal stretch on this. And then finally, layer four is your largest of items. This is what this process is gonna be using to sharpen your image. Now, what we're gonna do here and some settings that I have found to work extremely well. Let's get a clone of this. So we have a before and after. We'll toss that up there. And what we're going to do, algorithm, starlet transform, dyadic is checked. We're going to do a fifth layer. And what we're going to be working with is layers two through five. And what we're going to do, we're going to click on, let's open up a preview here. And let's uh, do layer five bias. We're going to do zero to five. That's our largest of structures. Layer four, zero five. That's next size down, layer three. We're going to do 0, 075. And then finally, layer two, we're going to do one. And if you take a look at the preview, here's before and here's after. Now, let's exit out of the preview grab the triangle, throw it on there. And let's go ahead and zoom in. And we'll go before and after. Before and after. Let's exit out of multi-scale linear transform. Let's open these up side by side. Let's zoom out. And I'm not sure if the video is able to really show you the difference here, but uh, it is quite a difference in how those structures pop and how sharp they are. So that is all that it takes to use multi-scale linear transformation and I hope that you found that useful. Do me a favor, that channel icon that just popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Then throw a comment in the comment section. Did you learn anything new? Uh, do you have any questions? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.